Giant Keepers, and welcome to another episode of My Antics, where we explain how to take care of your colonies from a test tube all the way to an aformicarium. Today we're going to be talking about your first Nantics, or workers for short, exactly what you should be preparing for while you're waiting, exactly what process you need when they arrive, and a bunch of other helpful info to make sure that your colony gets the best care possible. Let's begin. Did you know that when a worker hatches, it takes 7 to 10 days for the exoskeleton to harden and mature to its final stages? Many ant keepers make the mistake of feeding them the first couple of days that they arrive. For reasons that we don't quite understand, but if I had to put my finger on it, I would state that the worker's mouthpiece is still hardening and maturing, and that could be a very possible reason why your worker is not eating or going towards any offerings of honey or sweets. Let's take a look at this Solenopsis colony, commonly known as fire ants. In the last couple of days, the queen's first worker hatched, and she's very happy to have a helping hand around the nest. Though she might seem active, her exoskeleton is still hardening and might refuse any kind of protein or sugar offerings. If you notice that your first workers aren't eating, don't be alarmed. During the larva stage, they store a reserve supply of nutrition that will last her until she's ready to consume food on her own. Now let's take a look at this black harvester colony, also known as Messer. Over the last couple of weeks, this colony went from one to six workers, and some of these workers are still fairly new. Their exoskeletons go from tan to black over the week that it takes for their body to harden. If you look closely at some of the mature brood, you can see little black eyes, indicating that they're close to hatching. Now let's take a look at some red carpenter ants, known in the ant world as Campanatus discolor. Unlike the Messer, Campanatus actually do go through a cocoon metamorphosis, but the same rules apply. When their workers hatch, they need about 7 to 10 days for their exoskeletons to harden into the dark orange that you see here. Preparing for your first workers is as easy as leaving them in a dark, quiet, warm location and making sure that they have a constant supply of water. In a previous video, we talked about giving your lone queen cricket legs as a beneficial source of protein. When your first workers come along, the same rules apply. You can give them cricket legs, small crickets, chopped up mealworms, or other beneficial snacks like scraps of deli meat. For sugar, you can give them honey, sugar water, or pieces of grapes, apples, or pears, something you might already have in your house. Today we covered what the process is new workers go through, along with how to prepare for them, and what exactly you should have ready for them to eat. That wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a wonderful night, and remember, happy ant keeping. Beep, 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 beep.